Hello, welcome to Soulprint Intuitive Tarot. My name is Cindy. Thank you very, very much for being here. So, um, <clears throat> the dust may be starting quietly to settle after um, a couple of bombs that went off. So, you've got Trump um, with a gag order because he really upset that judge in New York. And you know what? This is what I don't understand. Is he not smart enough to understand that this is the judge, one, who has already found him guilty of fraud, and two, this is the very same judge that is going to assess and determine the monetary penalties. Yeah, that's the guy to piss off. Absolutely. You go after him, you go after his staff. It's not a problem. It's not going to affect your case at all. Um, so there's that. And... The Matt Gate got rid of Kevin McCarthy. You know, you don't like to see somebody booted by a, a core group of, of lunatics, of crazy people. But on the other hand, he set up his own demise, right? He gave them everything plus that they wanted. And wow, what a surprise that as soon as he doesn't completely conform to their like kind of nutty agenda, um, that they boot him. I mean, he did it to himself. And, you know, apparently one of the things that was being said over and over again on both sides of the aisle was you can't trust him. You just can't trust him. I mean, the Democrats joined um, the Republicans to bail him out in making sure the government didn't get shut down. And then he goes on TV and he's complaining because the Dems, the, the whole shutdown thing would have been the Dems' problem because they weren't just like, excuse me. Also, he did the same thing after he was sort of removed from court. It was that same thing. It's like, well, the Dems should have helped me. Well, why should the Dems have helped you? You just spent, um, you know, the last 48 hours insulting them. Craziness. This is what... You call, watch out for karma's bite. And I think both of those two are feeling it. I want to focus in on what's going to happen with the House Republicans um, for today's mini. Um, <clears throat> so I just want to, there's a couple of things. One, there has been sort of some low-grade anxiety panic kind of swirling around um, with regards to Trump being um, named Speaker of the House. Apparently, it's legal. He doesn't have to have a government position, um, and they could bring him back. He's not going to get the votes, okay? And because I think going in, he's going to figure out he's not going to get the votes. Um, he can strong arm a lot of Republicans, but a significant number of Republicans... Okay, a significant number of Republicans voted to keep um, McCarthy in the Speaker's chair. It was only like nine or something that got rid of him, but when coupled with the votes of the Dems, that's what did it. So the thing is, is if they try to bring in Trump, I'm being told it's simply not going to happen, but if they try... There apparently are like nine or ten Republican House representatives who um, are sitting in Trump won districts, and Trump won them by significant margin. Interestingly, the ones who voted to get rid of him um, on the Republican side, those people, if you look at the stats, they apparently are sitting in very comfortably Republican, Republican districts. So they're not particularly concerned about ending their constituency where there might be some others that are going to. So let's just put to bed the whole, is Trump going to run the government or become the next House of um, Speaker of, of the Majority Speaker of the House. Just cut the deck. Look at what we've got here. We've got justice on one side and death on the other. Okay, so this is sort of telling, right? This is talking about exactly that energy. Um, justice is coming to call, and justice is making itself known, and that is going to crack down and close down a lot of 
kind of what has been going on, whether that is Trump in court or whether that is McCarthy. Again, similarity between these two is they are the creators of their own demise. All righty. Um, so I just want to take a look. Jim Jordan apparently has thrown his hat into the ring. Oh my, can you even imagine? I do not believe that there is going to be a sort of a really right-leaning uh, Speaker of the House. I think that who's going to get voted in is going to be a little bit more moderate because you've got a lot of Republicans who are sick and tired of the crazy. Um, and I, I just caught a quick interview of, of one of the Republicans saying that they need to change the rule so that one person does not have the power to just oust somebody or to call for the, you know, removal. Um, I think the word he said was uh, the House shouldn't be run by a small group of lunatics. Quite succinct. Here we go. U.S. House of Representatives trajectory u.s house of representatives trajectory u.s house of representatives trajectory here we go let's see what we've got here the nine sorry the eight of swords okay that's where you're starting you're starting from a place where they have trapped themselves okay um and and again the thing is you've got these crazies um those eight or nine people who are just hell-bent and determined to destroy everything it's about electing somebody else it's about destroying the institutions and the standards of the country so this is where they are but because republicans failed to see the writing on the wall they have themselves sort of knotted up in the things that are going on in the house that are not kosher. Now, interestingly, in the past, they had the six of wands. So this is a victory card, right? This is an amazing card. But what this is talking about is the fact that <clears throat> they... Had they left well enough alone and quit overreacting and doing Trump's bidding, they actually would have been able to, I don't know, get more points, right? Score, score more of the things they wanted. Problem. It's about money, but you know what? It's about small minds and power. That's really what it boils down to is these, these group of people who are, um, you know, really, really focused on an agenda that has nothing to do with running the government. I mean, think about it. Lauren Bobard voted to keep Kevin in his seat. I mean, that's probably because she only won her district by 500 votes and she's you know, been a disaster. And so maybe she's trying to cool it. And then you have the Empress. So this is the thing. You have a situation where the abundance of, of chaos is, is just overwhelming. I want to say it feels as if the House representatives, the uh, sorry, the uh, Republican representatives in the House, um, it feels as if th they are going to be instrumental. There's enough of them. There's going to be instrumental in picking a new leader. And this leader is going to be on firmer ground than his predecessors. Okay. So this actually looks like they're going to veer away from the crazy and kind of into at least something that kind of vaguely resembles normal. That's what I'm being told right now. Um, and that's going to actually um, 
I think, you know, work out. Certainly, everything that's going on is ultimately working out to the Democrats' advantage, okay? Um, right now, they're just juggling. They're trying to keep figure out what the heck is going on. The last thing they need is a Jim Jordan, who's a complete failure, um, certainly with his... Hang on. Sorry about that. Um, every once in a while, Atlas, the blue healer, decides he should carry Nova, my black and white cat, around by the head. It is a problem. We're still working on it. Um, but needless to say, Nova gets a little testy. Okay. So what you're going to see now in the immediate future is a lot of the struggling and wrangling. Okay, you're going to see a lot of talk, a lot of crosstalk. They're off for the week, right? Try to get their you-know-what together. Um, interestingly, that the Death card showed up and interesting that the Two of Swords showed up. So in, in this connotation, what it's talking about is the, the extreme wing looks like they're going to have to cool it a little bit. Now, whether they do or not is a different matter because, of course, we all know that they are doing Trump's bidding. But it looks like um, they are losing, frankly, they're losing their power. I mean, even other Republicans are embarrassed. They're like, my God, this is not how we're supposed to be behaving. This is not what we're supposed to be doing. So these kinds of antics are diminishing that wing of the party's power. It's only impressive to a very small group of people, mostly the mega base. Any other Republican, all of the independents, all of the Democrats are sick and tired of this. And so their power is, again, karma. They're, they are being diminished by their own actions. Um, it looks like there's going to be a bit of a juggle back and forth. I do not see Jeffries having to take over. Um, and I'm not seeing, I, I'm, and they're not giving me any clarity yet on who may be, you know, next. But there's definitely, you know, some decisions and some conversations that are going to go on. It's not clear cut yet. It's really not. And it's going to be a lot of people who aren't particularly thrilled with the choices or they're despondent with it, or whatever it is. It's okay. Because, the devil's here. And the greed, the obsessions, the all of it is sinking their they're sinking their own ship, basically, okay? One way or another, believe it or not, even though it doesn't feel particularly comforting right now. The House of Representatives is actually going to be able to start to steer away from that extreme side. They're not going to go central. They're going to still be hard right. They're just not going to be insane right. Okay, so that is my mini for Thursday. Please Remember to put your questions for the Pendulum Friday tomorrow in the comment section below. And the amazing Joyce is going to magically make it all happen so it comes to me in this incredibly organized manner. Um, and thank you to all of my new subscribers. I'm very, very excited you guys caught. I was sitting at like 10,490-something forever. You popped me up into the 10,500. I think it's 500 and 57 or something. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I was very excited to see that happen. Uh, and thank you for being here. See you tomorrow with Perpendulum Friday. Bye.